guys heard the good news, but the Supreme Court just overturned a Texas law prohibiting sodomy. Yeah! See? Now, I thought it'd be like the drunken parties that broke out at the end of the prohibition. So I ran out in the street to find the sodomy party. <laughs> but nothing. Of course, you know, streets have the tendency to empty out when there's a guy running around naked with his putt in his hand. <laughs> but, uh, See, it's good that we get rid of a lot of those laws so we make room for all the new ones that keep passing. I, I think we should only have 10 laws, just like the Bible, like a top 10, and you vote on them with a 900 number, and that way we'd have all the laws that we all agree on, like rape and murder and all that, and you could have half a dozen of the picky any little nuisance laws, like drug laws and, you know, seatbelt laws and public indecency. See... That way, they want to add a new one. They'd have to kick the most unpopular one back to the people. So, okay, now we can't smoke in bars anymore, but I can jack off on the bus again. Yeah. <laughs> L.A. Uh, just tried to pass a law banning lap dances. <laughs> no. Who does this law protect? And when do we get to vote on these laws? I never see ads at election time. Vote yes on Proposition 317. Because if a vagina touches your leg, it could burn a hole in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and who makes these random age limits? 21 to drink, 18 to vote. And how come if a kid graduates college at 16, he's a genius? But Tracy Lords does some fantastic porno films at 16. <laughs> and suddenly it's wrong! Well, listen to me. I've seen those videos, and that was no innocent little girl. <laughs> she displayed a talent far beyond her years. She wasn't a victim. She was a prodigy. <laughs> and that's why there's just too many goddamn laws in this country. They say if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach a man to fish... Then he's gonna get a fishing license, but he doesn't have any money, so he's gonna get a job and get into the social security system, and he can't even cook the fish because he needs a permit for an open flame, and the health department is asking him a lot of questions about where he's gonna dump the scales and the guts, and guess what? If you get tired of it all at the end of the day, you're not even legally able to kill yourself. <laughs> We started our own man show nation. We're just gonna take over a hunk of desert and leave it completely lawless like the old west. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Project. So naturally we'd have to do it in Nevada where you can still gamble without having to float on a river. You can pay a girl for sex without having to call it an audition. Yeah. And the only last call is when you pass your own liver like a stillborn. Recently, I was in Carson City, Nevada, visiting the Bunny Ranch. I was with him. I'm a rogue. I thought it'd be interesting to sit down with some hookers and watch one of my favorite movies, Pretty Woman, to find out how accurately it portrays their real lives. Welcome to Joe's Movie Club. We're here at the world-famous Bunny Ranch in Carson City, Nevada, and all these lovely ladies work here as prostitutes. Hi, ladies. Hi. You really enjoy your job, too. Could you imagine doing anything else? Uh, no? Could you imagine me as, like, a secretary somewhere? Yeah, sure, I'd be raping the delivery boys. <laughs> Would you really? Now, son said, Thomas, I've actually masturbated to some of your films before. You can see a Sunset Thomas film and say, you know what, I wish I could have sex with her. And you could come here and you could have sex with her. Now, no movie night is complete without snacks. So we got you girls some bananas and a taco, because I hear one of you likes tacos. We like bananas. You like bananas? The movie we're going to watch is Pretty Woman, starring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts as the hooker with a heart of gold. Exactly. Now, how realistic is it to have a girl as pretty as Julia Roberts as a street Very walker? Very realistic. Working the trash. Especially yeah. in Hollywood. Um, the girls on Hollywood Boulevard are beautiful girls. Those are dudes. Those no. That's those a are dudes. Trust me, those are dudes. I've been tricked before. Those are dudes. <laughs> Let's watch. 
So Richard Gere paid Julia Roberts three thousand dollars for the whole week. What a bargain! Yeah. Now has that ever happened to any of you ladies? Mm -hmm. A whole week at a time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Now when you go on a trip like that, you pretty much have to bang him every day, like all the time, whenever he wants yeah. to. No. no Can you ever turn him down? <clears throat> How does that work? That's confusing to me because I never would want to turn it down. Yeah. How much would you guys charge for a three-way with Richard Gere and a gerbil? <laughs> So this is a scene where Richard Gere takes Julia Roberts and buys her a lot of clothes because she's going to hang out with him for a week. <laughs> now you like this because they're shopping? Yeah. 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 Is that your favorite part in the movie? This is where really? the movie gets good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has a customer ever given you a real pearl necklace? <laughs> This is a scene where Richard Gere is in the bathtub with Julia Roberts and he kind of bares his soul and he tells all about his horrendous childhood and all that stuff. Have you ever had a guy do that? Oh yeah. 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 All the time. Oh, yeah. Does that happen all the time? Oh yeah. yeah. Or like when a guy comes in and say he's married, you know, it's not like he doesn't love his wife because mm -hmm. he's very much in love with his wife, but there's certain things that he might want to do, doggy style positions or certain positions that his wife doesn't want to do. Now, um, if a guy wants to do oral on you, do you make him like put like a, a piece of saran wrapper over it? Some girls do. Now, whenever you have saran wrap covering your vagina. Does it ever feel like leftovers? You're like, Ew. <laughs> We're at the final scene in the movie where Richard Gere comes back to rescue Julia Roberts, and Air Force Amy has actually been moved to tears. You really are. You're crying. You don't, don't blot it out. Show it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a hooker with a heart of gold. Not Julia Roberts. Air Force Amy. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Girl's dream. But you have never even have a boyfriend before. No, I'm waiting for someone to come rescue me. I've got the worst case of princess syndrome ever diagnosed. Oh my god, you've been lied to so bad. <laughs> I need you to stay away from all Dave Matthews CDs, all Meg Ryan movies. Gives <laughs> yeah. you hope. It makes you feel good. So all you all secretly want to be rescued? <laughs> So you know what, I really think that we've all learned a lot about you girls and I thank you very much. And I would like to thank you by taking you all out shopping. Oh yeah! Is that good? Is that good shopping? You know, the best thing about that night was just getting to know those women as people and paying them to have sex with me. That was a good part. <laughs> was... When we come back, grab your newspaper because it's the International Toilet Exposition. Stick around. <laughs>
Our next innovation is perfect for city dwellers, college students, and anyone who enjoys having someone poop just inches above your head. It's the bunk toilet! Hey, keep it down up there. I'm trying to take a dump. This next commode is for baseball lovers everywhere. It's the Eric Davis batting tee toilet created by former all-star major leaguer Eric Davis. You just put the ball on the tee and swing away. Hey, Eric, what, what, Eric, what inspired you to uh, invent this toilet? Well, I got tired of bringing pictures in the bathroom with me. That makes sense. And it really works? Absolutely, Joe. After a big night at eating at El Torito's, I finally figured out how to hit Nolan Ryan. Yeah! <laughs> Baseball, this next item comes from the makers of the beloved urinal trough. It's the ballpark toilet. <laughs> now you and now... now you and dozens of strangers can poop right next to each other in a gruesome mud huddle. something I find really handy whenever I take a leak in a public restroom. They're called pee pee peepers. <laughs> what are those? Well, it's something every guy's wanted but was afraid to ask for. Eyeglasses with mirrors. Now I can check out other guys' wieners without the fear of getting caught. <laughs> How many people would like to go back in time to poop? Well, unfortunately, we don't have a time machine that you know of. But you can experience an amazing journey with this, the virtual reality toilet. Oh, oh, this is amazing. Uh, I'm storming the beach at Normandy, and I'm taking a dump. Whoa, wait, oh, whoa, oh, oh, there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. Then I'm taking a dump. This is beautiful. That's too frightening. <laughs> you know, when you're out on the course and you gotta go, we all know there's only one place you can poop. In the cup. <laughs> Not anymore. Not now that we have the golf cart toilet. <laughs> Hey, Doug, hop in and take a dump with me. Don't mind if I do. All this dump talk is making me go to take a dump. <laughs> it's a great day for golf and taking a dump. That's it for this year's Toilet Expo. <laughs> Today, our audience members will have the opportunity to seek advice from a man's man. Many of you will know our guest as Major League's last 400 hitter who gave up the prime years of his career to fly combat missions in both World War II and Korea. In 2002, he passed away and was cryogenically frozen. But he's such a hardcore badass that even that couldn't stop him from being here tonight. He took no crap. He never doffed his cap. He's Frozen Ted Williams. Turn it up. Crank up the air conditioning. Frozen Ted, it's an honor to have you here. How you two ass clowns doing? Let's get to our uh, first question for Frozen Ted. Where's Chris from Glendale? Yeah. What's your question for Frozen Ted? Hey, Frozen Ted, how do you like your steak cooked? How do I like my steak cooked? There's only one way. 
by four naked chicks making out! Where is Michael Marzook of Glendale, California? So, uh, Frozen Ted, what do you, how do you Speak have Speak like a man! How do you hide an erection at work? The old-fashioned way! You hide it in your secretary! Where is Michelle Sierra of Whittier, California? Where's Michelle? Frozen <laughs> Ted, I would like to know how I could do better oral sex. <laughs> That's pretty easy. You want to you want to stop talking and start sucking. <laughs> Is that your boyfriend right there next to you? My husband. Your husband? How long have you been married? Seven, Seven years. years. You don't blow him anymore. <laughs> <you mind. laughs> Look at him. Come on. Seven years in a monogamous <laughs> relationship with a woman who gives weak head? Would you break a mirror, son? <laughs> Where is Ryan Livingston of Van Nuys, California? Yeah. Angelique! Angelique, down in front! Yeah. Where's your question for Frozen Ted? I was wondering what I can do to increase the volume and velocity of my mangoo. <laughs> Hold that hand up, son. Anything? Uh-oh. See? You got a I'm broken hand. I might, I might suggest you relax your grip a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's Ron Garza of Corpus Christi, Texas? Hey, Frozen Ted. I know back in your day it was easy, but nowadays when you find the perfect relationship, what do you do with it then? What do you do with the perfect relationship? You pay her and you drop her back <laughs> at the corner. <laughs> Times have not changed, son. Where's Tim <laughs> Mendiola of San Diego? Tim Mendiola. Hey, Frozen Ted, what's the best way to tell when a woman is faking it? Stand up, son. Take a step up. Okay. Turn around. Oh. I can say by looking at you, she's faking it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, fellas, I got a popsicle up my ass that's melting. I got to get the hell out of here. Why don't you school these morons? I'll be back later on. Frozen Ted, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And now, girls jumping on trampolines! <laughs> <laughs>